So you know the country that didn't bring their gold back? New Zealand. They sold gold. all of it. Yeah, they didn't have any gold. <laughs> none, none. Zero. I'd like to, if we may, yeah. um, turn our attention to Africa for a moment. Okay. Because something has occurred in Nigeria that a lot of other nations are doing uh, to the US, and that is Nigeria has recalled its gold reserves from the US mm. and UK uh, as the world is increasingly uh, departing from the Western finance scheme. Mm. And so that's really in terms of uh, custodianship. The nations are doing it now. So they've basically clawed back uh, 21 tonnes of gold um, ongoing amid all the ongoing economic concerns with inflation, geopolitical tensions that are going on, uh, mm. and they don't want to lose those uh, risks. So you can see how mm. the nations are now moving their investments back home. Yep. And they reckon that, you know, Nigeria decided, yep, we're best to put it in our own vaults rather than the US and the UK uh, after they may be dethroned in the, the view of this journalist. This is on newstarget.com. Okay. And uh, it's really interesting. The star was quoting Nigerian officials saying economic indicators such as rising inflation, escalating debt levels and geopolitical tensions have raised apprehensions about Nigerian policy makers about the stability of the US financial system. Mm. So... What has never occurred, of course, is an audit of the Fed and how much gold <laughs> that it actually holds in its reserves. Another nation that has done that recently too is India. It recently decided to bring its gold home. Mm -hmm. And of course, India loves its gold with the wedding season and all that of sort course. of thing. Um, they were the world's most populous nation recalling 100 tonnes of its gold from vaults in the UK. Uh, right. That is fascinating with all these non-Western countries doing this. And of course, mm -hmm. India is part of the BRICS nations as well. Yep. So you're wondering what they're lining up as far as their vaults are concerned with their partners gobbling up gold over the last yeah, few years. And you know, well, let's be real. India is, is becoming an absolute powerhouse economically. Now, gee, it's funny you should say that. I remember someone else saying that they didn't believe it would be China, the next powerhouse, but it would be India. Geez, that was what? Oh, 12 months ago? I don't know. No, no. Did you write it down? Well, Did you we've photo got it friend? recorded? Oh, in a there show. you go. There you go. So, the, the, when oh, you look great. at India's economy, they're just too big. They've mm. got way too many people. Well, it's not too many people. They've just, it's, let's say you're playing a game of Chasey. Like okay. you could be huge and super fast, but if the other team's got 100,000 people to your one, mm. obviously the 100,000 people are going to win. Okay. So, it's just one of the things. If they get every single one of their person paying, say, a thousand dollars a year is in tax. Mm -hmm. There's a hundred thousand billion dollars. Like that, the maths doesn't add up. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean. So the, the the sheer population, the amount of GDP the they there, can yeah. raise just purely by taxing the everyday people mm. is insane. And what's happening because China's gone very manufacturing side sure. of things. You, there's a sort of like a cap mm -hmm. on how far you can take that. India's on the other hand, they're actually gone more the servicing side yes. of things. Call centers, website design, SEO. all of the IT stuff, sort of yeah. thing, search engine optimization. So that's very easy to upgrade it from just providing something, producing something, sending out to all of a sudden doing all these professional services. So I think India has just got a massive ability to progress to the next level. This trend has uh, of countries pulling back their gold has started even back in 2019. Okay. Poland uh, pulled back 100 tonnes of gold back into its country. Hungary, Romania did similar mm. things. 2017 in the summer, Germany brought back about half of its gold reserves. And if you thought Australia is in that, Australia around 2015, uh, brought about half of its gold reserves back as well. So you know the country that didn't bring their gold back? New Zealand. They North sold all. all of it. Yeah, yeah, they didn't have any gold. <laughs> none, none. Zero. Mm. Crazy. So yeah. it's scary. I've got more gold than New Zealand in my little country. <laughs> <laughs> that puts you in a huge precarious position. It does. Oh, it does. I'm open for a robbing. So what is their economy based on now? I mean, it, it can't be Lord of the Rings movies anymore. I mean... <laughs> 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 We're talking of India. That <laughs> <laughs> have they killed the sheep industry like they have in Australia? Oh, they're working hard on it. Oh, I'll tell you oh, what. Oh, jeez. Unbelievable. I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>